While making a historical movie, the liberty of a creator is limited. Dunkirk was announced and that's what I thought. What new could Nolan show in that? <laughs> but who are we kidding with man? It's Christopher Nolan. He surprised to the core. Insanely surprising. You know, usually a beautiful movie is when the culmination of music, cinematography, direction and of course acting happens together and in this movie it has reached its pinnacle. He has done every single possible way to make the audience engaged, to say a known story to half of the world at least. Like me, I did not refer any kind of uh, instance related to Dunkirk just to feel the suspense but even if I have read page by page of the history and still went to this movie, it would have surprised me a lot. Not only is a person who likes to play around with your emotions, he likes to engage the audience inside the movie and he plays this nice symphony with your emotions and having said that this movie has become one of the most emotionally connected movie. Actually Bala's Paradesi was one of that movie which made me to feel for a week. Uh, I was depressed, I was, I was totally broken apart when I watched that movie. Well, this movie is not like that kind of a breaking apart kind of a moment because obviously end of it is a victory but not a complete victory to all the protagonists I would say but still a major part of it is a victory but this emotion that has been felt in this movie will last long for a longer longer period of time. It's a history, it's a pure fact and a pure detailing but still you get to feel this claustrophobic feel when you watch this movie and you want the protagonist to win at any cost. Having limited dialogues added to the suspense a lot and choosing a non-linear pattern of storytelling saying in the perspective of three different places actually not just persons it's land, sea and air and three different time frames. I'm not a person who usually compares movie but at this point I'm forced to do that. Uh, there was a recent Tamil movie that got released Singam 3. Um, I would like to comment that that movie had so many fast cuts and fast scenes, so many dialogues and of course with all due respect to director Hari sir, uh, when asked he said that he wants the audience to get engaged but you should watch this movie. It has slow scenes, it has so many lengthy scenes, no dialogues, so many slow paced music as well but this is as intense as hell. You can't even blink at certain points. Christopher Nolan is a criminal who actually steals your mind inside his screen and you know who is his partner of crime? It's Hans Zimmer, man, the music that he plays, I don't know where he gets it. It's simple, it's not complicated, but it's so intense. And of course, the cinematographer whose name is hard as a hill for me to pronounce has a huge credit in this. Christopher Nolan doesn't like to shoot in digital. He still uses film stock. And when he was shooting Dunkirk in IMAX, he still insisted for a film stock. But his cameraman, I don't know where he keeps his camera. I don't know how they use this special effect. That's kind of a vintage feel that he has given and still all the modern camera techniques have been used. So this is a culmination of a masterclass modern craft work about history. Saving Private Ryan is one of my favorite war movie which actually describes how a war or after effects of a war or what are the things that happens inside the war, the pain and the grief which is not usually portrayed. And the next one is American Sniper in which actually a soldier's inner mind is being shown, portrayed. Uh, but this movie has been the best until now that I have watched. A true masterpiece for any war movie. Uh, you know when I was young I used to think a soldier is the one who takes the gun, who shoots someone, who jumps, who has this nice body and who has all this escape skills and stuff are, are a big deal. But no, survival is what is a soldier and that's been shown in this movie in a perfect way. Nature and emotion are two big fuel to run a story successfully and Christopher Nolan has these fuels in abundance. He can't praise enough of Dunkirk because it's in my mind, it'll take weeks and weeks but I don't want to record all of it and make you guys bored. But I just want to say that Nolan, you have been the godfather for our generation to show what's a film and how to make a film. It's a lesson that you can go back and watch every minute, every single reference and you can take it and connect it to any story. Man, you're awesome. Long live and make a lot of films. Magilchi.